Hi there, today we're going to remove and install a spring on a 097-120. But before we do that, I just want to show you the differences on the springs. Here we have uh, an 030 spring, and it's uh, 097-030. And on 030, the spring action or the fail of the spring direction is going to be anti-clockwise. And as you see, there's usually a uh, arrow here on the side of the spring but when we look at that we're looking at it down from the actuator side of the spring so that one there is going anti-clockwise the 097 020 or any of the 020s they go in a clockwise direction and as here you have an arrow on the side of your uh, spring but just for instructional purposes, I'm just putting this on here just so you can see that as we look down from the actuator side of the spring, it's actually going into the clockwise direction. So here on our 097-120, looking down on our spring, our spring is going to be going or failing in the clockwise direction. So whenever we pull the spring off, we turn our actuator upside down. So just to show you the difference here, the spring here, it's going clockwise, but here it appears to be going anti-clockwise, but it's still going the same direction, okay? So I think that's where some confusion comes in as to which, which way you look at your spring as to which direction that it's actually going to fail. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here. And then we're going to put air. Of course, this it's going to fail. The spring is failing this way, like our arrow is showing. So we're going to need to put air on this side here to be able to make the air pressure go against the spring pressure to move our actuator. So usually turn your pressure down, oh, about 30, 35, something like that. And then as you bring your pressure up, it's gonna move back and forth. And what you wanna do is you wanna achieve the center center of the actuator and then we're going to put a spring keeper right on here you got to get it on there just perfect to be able to, to get it to start usually finger tighten them and come back and Okay, put our keeper plate on there. Release your air pressure. Now you're ready to take out your mounting bolts. And your, there's your spring, and it's, and that's it. Now you can move your actuator back and forth accordingly. So whenever you install a spring, as you can see, we we're just going to leave this install right there. But you'll take your plate, and your plate, and your spring will come with a a kit which consists of an O-ring. Some of the older kits or the older springs are you used gaskets. So it's either gonna be a gasket or O-ring. And then you put your bolts in there and lock tight them. 
and then you'll torque them to 310 inch pounds or 26 foot pounds. And you can find this on our uh, Kinetrol website and it's under TD111 and that's going to show you each of the actuator sizes and then also what your uh, recommended torque specs are for your bolts. And what I did here is I just took the 310 inch pounds and divided by 12 and that gave me the 26 foot pounds. So after you get everything torqued down and everything, then you'll put your actuator in the middle of its travel. Then you'll take your spring and take the apply the uh, anchor pin and put it straight in the middle of your actuator itself. Usually I'll count one, you know, to make sure that you're right here in the center. And then you can just move this. Put your screws in here. Okay, we got that. And so then what you're gonna have to do is, now before you take your keeper plate off, you're gonna need to apply air and uh, where you can take this off. So what we're gonna do is, usually if it's uh, 80 PSI, I usually start about 30, 32 or so, something like that. And you slowly give it air pressure until you barely see, you just barely see it move. You see a little bit of, there's a little bit of gap right there. You see it just barely move. But then what you do is you just barely, you just barely, you loosen off your bolts and you don't take your bolts out all, all the way yet. You wanna make sure that this is loose. See, if you had air pressure against it, you're, never, you're not gonna move it. So that's also another safety safety factor there. You gotta move it back and forth. Sometimes you can help it right there a little bit. See, it's nice and nice and loose. Now you're ready to remove your bolts. Okay. Then after you're finished there, you can remove your air. And then one last thing that we do is we have a drill plug that comes in with the um, with the kit and the drill plug will go on the opposite end of where you put your air. All right, there you go. You got your, your springs installed and you're ready to go. Thank you very much.